I want to make the distinction is AEW's fan popularity. Is it on the decline? Is it on the increase? What's happening with AEW's fan popularity? That's one subject that we can talk about and we will. And then there's another subject, which is usually not parsed from the prior topic, and that's AEW's media rights value, which is the, basically the entirety of this company's financial outlook, possibly related to the question, is AEW dying? Is AEW on the decline? Is AEW going to go out of business? That's a separate question. Media rights value is a separate question related, but a different question, especially in this environment, from the question of fan popularity. And if you've been following the wrestling business over the last 10 years or so, that's a question that's been incredibly relevant to WWE as WWE's fan popularity, certainly from the years of 2014, go all the way to 2019 or so. Over those years, mostly fan interest in WWE declined, but nonetheless, in 2018, right in the middle of that timeline, towards the end of it, in fact, after the, the fan popularity to this descent had, had really accumulated, 2018, guess what? They more than tripled their TV rights value and tremendously improved their financial picture. So it's a different question to talk, to talk about fan popularity and media rights value. Is fan popularity and fan interest in AEW on the decline? Certainly compared to the fall of 2021, yes. I would argue in comparison to a year ago, yes. There's plenty of evidence we'll, we'll show here to support that. Is the media rights value lower for AW than it was a year ago? Probably not. Why? Because that's when we're talking about media rights value, that's where we should really look to the rank. What's the ranking of the program that we're trying to talk about here? Dynamite continues to be one of the most watched shows on its day, on its week in the demo, which is a disproportionately valuable portion of the audience because of ad rates, but because what it indicates about the future of television viewership, because it's a younger demographic and a very old skewing audience. So Dynamite continues to be quite valuable, which encourages the belief that Dynamite will justify a healthy increase in media rights value. Now, Tony Khan seems incredibly confident that not only Dynamite is going to get a, a huge, huge increase in his words, but Rampage and Collision as well. I see less evidence for to justify that other than they'll be coming in the package with Dynamite. Is AEW in a good position still to get a strong increase in media rights value? Probably. Is popularity of AEW on the decline? Yes. We, we can see that in not only total viewership on the decline, but demo viewership on the decline year over year. Say what you want about cord cutting and the degree to which that is down. And yes, cord cutting in Q1 is probably down more, more than 2%, probably about 7%. But you can contrast that with not only the increases that you're seeing in WWE's TV viewership, while it's WWE's getting hotter and repairing itself from its multi-year damage that was inflicted on it from Vince McMahon's creative direction, but we see strong increases in other sports viewership as well. We see the NFL, yes, there's out of home viewing that's being included in that calculation more than ever, right? But we're seeing college basketball do quite well. We're seeing a lot of sports do really well and no one has to bring up cord cutting in those conversations. In terms of the year over year picture, if you're watching a video, here's the year over year picture. Every episode so far year to date has been at least slightly down from the same week of the prior year. In the demo, it's a little bit more of a mixed bag as the demo is not down as strongly. You use that information to look at TV ratings and you can say that's the picture that tells me more than not that interest in AEW is down, but maybe it's cord cutting and we can offset all of those declines, Tony Khan, we can offset all those declines with a cord cutting excuse, maybe your excuse, but then you look at attendance and attendance continues to decline. Now we've still got thousands of people, yes, we've still got thousands of people in these seats. We've still got more people in these seats than, than a TNA could ever put in there at almost any part of, of its history. And that's an impressive feat if we're not comparing it to WWE, which we don't necessarily have to. Nonetheless, year over year, three out of the last four quarters, dynamite attendance on average is down. That's supporting another picture that AEW's fan popularity is down. Does that have any bearing on AEW's media rights value? Basically, no. As long as... Dynamite continues to be highly ranked. And the more highly ranked the other programs can be too, the better. Is interest in AEW down from consumers, the fans? Yes. Is AEW going to go out of business? No. Is AEW going to get a good TV deal? Probably. Is AEW going to get a good enough TV deal to make it profitable within the next three years or so? I would tend to think so. But David Zasloff 
will have a lot to say about that.